Alright guys, this is what you've been waiting for for like weeks. Finally, I am giving you my This Is My Room video. I will be going over every square inch of my room and showing you everything that's inside of it. Yay! But no, seriously guys, as you may have heard, I redid my room, and so now everything is different. So real quick, I'm going to do a quick like little overview to show you the different areas of my room. We're going to start right back <clears throat> over here with this wall. So, this wall has got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, first of all, as you can see, I have a desk. Um, this is, at least this year, this is where I will be doing all my homework. I used to do my homework over there, and I will show you where that was in a little bit. This is also my studio. Um, I'll actually be doing a studio video eventually in the future. But this is my studio, um, so you can kind of get a look at that real quick. Um, and obviously this this wall is actually pretty simplistic because the whole idea behind this wall is that you know I'm doing my homework so everything's nice and quiet and calm so I just have some inspirational pictures and stuff from uh, different things you know so you can take a look at those and stuff but um, <clears throat> as you can see pretty cool stuff uh, over here it's pretty basic I have my mirror for you know mirror stuff I have my hook that holds all of my sweatshirts I have five sweatshirts maybe like two to three of which I actually wear on a regular basis. This here is actually a little thing we put up because eventually I'm going to be driving and we actually already have the car ready to go. Uh, it's just once I can actually drive, I will be driving. That's a Honda Fit. It's small and compact, but fits everything in it. Uh, I'm not going to show off my windows because that's kind of boring. I do have a saxophone. Uh, this is my saxophone right here, as you can see. Uh, you have actually possibly seen me play my saxophone in one of our music and theater videos, if you saw that. Uh, my bookshelf has some movies over here, books over here, textbooks, and all kinds of junk down there. This is my little mini tech area. Uh, if you can see, I have like 50,000 things plugged in over here, uh, which currently are running my fan, as well as my speaker system here. Uh, these, I love these speakers. They used to be computer speakers, and we hook, hooked them up in my room. <coughs> Dresser, just got a bunch of junk in there, clothes and stuff. Uh, and then over here, you can see my little mini shelves. Now these are like my display shelves. Up here, you can see I actually have some trophies from things that I used to do when I was little and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, this second shelf, I have some cool bottles I like, um, some cool cars that I really enjoy and stuff like that, and of course a card from my favorite people in the world, the Wolf Pack. Um, which you may see them eventually in a video here, you never really know. Guess we'll see if that actually ever happens or not. And then down here is where I just decided to do all kinds of cool comic book related stuff. So you can see I have my entire uh, series of Iron Man characters. Uh, we have the original Mark I, the Mark IV, which was from the very beginning of um, Iron Man 2, War Machine from Iron Man 2, as well as a original Iron Man character from the comic books. We also have over here some pop figures and an Iron Man 2 bobblehead. Uh, so we got Groot and Captain America and then of course Iron Man 2 bobblehead. We also have some Pez down there over there. Uh, the Batman collection as well as Thor and Darth Maul. Indiana Jones is chilling out over here next to a nice little globe and my odd collection of bottle caps. Next we will be actually moving into my uh, bike area. So this here is my is one of my bikes. This is a jumping bike that we use when we go to certain places, and you can take a look at it a little bit better there. That's that's our bike. Um, so we've been maxing it out so it's good for jumping and things. And then some inspirational bike-related posters, um, including a festival thing we went to, um, and some pictures I actually printed out for a project a while ago. Uh, you can take a look at those there. And Next up, we actually have my brand new hat rack. Uh, we installed this as soon or as part of like a building during the time that we were doing uh, all of this redoing of things and stuff. So it's literally like a piece of wood that we painted. Not actually wood. It's like um, PVC wood kind of stuff. And then we literally put wooden pegs. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then we just hang up all of my hats here. Uh, it's actually really nice because I can store all of my hats and I actually still have a spot for one more so uh, if I ever get another hat, I'll know where to put it. This floor is super open, gives me plenty of space in my room, uh, which is nice for whatever it is that I'm doing in the winter. I put a bike up here so it's nice to get a little exercise. Uh, over here, 
we have some classic stuff. Uh, you may have seen some of these before, maybe in the background. These are these are some old, wonderful Legos that I have. I actually have some pretty cool collections uh, from different movies and things like that. But uh, all kinds of interesting things here um, that you might be able to take a look at through this cool, really slow scan of things. I also have a um, PSP with an extra game holder thing, hard case, just in case I want to play more games while I'm on the go. Uh, I have some sunglasses in this little case thing here, uh, some extra phone cases in case, you know, my phone case blows up or something. And I have two sets of headphones, actually. These are um, just my standard headphones, and I actually have the exact same type uh, that, would make, that I have in blue, but I actually customized these guys. Uh, so I now have my brand new logo, which you might not have seen before, uh, but my logo is actually on these headphones as well as like a nice little camo going around the uh, edge here. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I was designing those a little while ago. I also have, for all of the rest of my PSP games, a box to keep them in that I basically store them in on the wall. Uh, this is a pretty easy mount. It's just literally a plastic box that I put a hole in. It's hung up a hook, and all of my games are inside of here. And then, yeah, it's real, real cool. You can just kind of shove everything in there and then pop the lid on, and everything stays nice. Got some more Legos up here. Actually, we got some classics. We have uh, the Millennium Falcon, the uh, AT-AT from Episode Five, the Land Speeder from Episode Four, and then X-wing, as well as the AT-TE that you may remember from the Star Wars: The Clone Wars animated TV show. Also, uh, you remember that Wolf Pack I was talking about over there when I was talking about my card? Yeah. Well, they did these awesome art pieces, and I have put them on my wall slash snowboard shelf thing here which is pretty cool I love these artworks because they're my friends and my friends do awesome stuff and so they put artwork and then they gave it to me and I put it on my shelf awesome. and uh, well I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing you this yet but if I wasn't supposed to show you this yet then this is a sneak peek uh, if you know what this is then uh, you then you know what's up uh, this is a helmet for a very interesting character that you may or may not see in the future of our channel. Uh, so if you do, then you know where you found it. Uh, but then we have our posters here. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy here. We got from the movie The Avengers because that movie was amazing as well. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, a box cover from when we actually got our Xbox One set. Um, and it's got, of course, the Assassin's Creed Unity logo attached there. Uh, as well as a nice big Marvel poster above my bed here. I'd like to show off this real quick because this is a brilliant idea. Uh, that my dad and I came up with. Uh, so basically, this is right above my bed here. It's a nice little metal shelf, and it's got an outlet attached to the bottom, one of these little six-prong outlet things, and it's plugged in behind the bed, and it allows me to charge all of my stuff right above my bed. So if I feel like laying down and like playing a game or something, then it's perfect because I can charge. Last but not least, we have the music area. The music area consists of this massive awesome, gigantic Skillet poster, because Skillet is amazing. Uh, we have my little CD rack here that has, you know, it's about halfway full with CDs, just about halfway. Um, my trash can, if you really want to know, it's down there. Uh, and then we also have an Alter Boys poster, because they're a classic old band that I love, as well as We As Human, because they're not as classic, but still quite just as awesome. And basically, this is my entire poster wall. So I just put posters all over this wall here. But either way, guys, thank you for checking out this awesome video of me showing you all of the things that are in my room. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, because likes are cool. And when you see something cool, you put a like on it. Because that makes sense. Also, comment if you have any other suggestions for me to do in my room. Although, honestly, I don't know if I have that much space to put other things other than this giant space over here. Um, but, subscribe if you would like to check out some more videos. And I would love to see you guys in the next episode. So please, go and watch it. Because it would be awesome. I don't even know what it's going to be about. Thanks for checking that out. And I'll see you guys later. Boop.